Okay, testing, testing. <laughs> okay, that's the warm up. Damn. I, I love it was when a there's monkey. just monkey you know noises. What? Yeah, I, we all have to get into monkey mode if we're going to review 2001 Planet <laughs> of the Apes. <laughs> so let's hear it weekend. Go full monkey mode at 1 a.m. in your house and your family's asleep. <laughs> Family. He has a wife and three kids. <laughs> there we go. Wait, he has a wife at home and he does podcasts? You didn't know Weekend was married with three kids? I oh, mean, yeah. his wife's a lady boy, but I mean... Are you st yeah. stream w from the same place where you have a wife? Damn. Yeah. yeah, his computer setup's in his bedroom and his wife's sleeping in bed behind yeah. him, like one I, foot I, away. Shut up, bitch! I, I just slap her around. <laughs> yes. No, Weekend! Shut up, bitch! <laughs> Be quiet back there. We're trying to review Planet of the Apes. <laughs> yeah, that 2001 movie that 23 years ago. This She's is like, important. the children are hungry, and you're like, fuck you. Fuck I have a kids. podcast to record. Okay, I that's sent you for tying me down. Yeah, and then I slap her around. I'm like, wait. Yeah, she, she's very well disciplined. She never makes a, a sound. Yeah. It's just no, like no, monkey like, slaves in this movie. No, see, I just... I just oh, uh, Use the backhand motion, and she just shuts up, and, and that's fine. <laughs> yeah, you've trained her to know what that means. Uh, we've yeah. also got making his monkey noise debut, Florian Himsel. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh. Yeah, that was perfect. Kind of cute. Okay, and yeah. the lone human on this planet full of apes with his Marky Mark accent, E. Rich McCoy. What the hell? I'm on some kind of a a planet of the apes. What is going on here? Should we do the whole review in our monkey voices, even though the apes are speaking English? Yeah, yeah. I think we should. Uh, hey, everybody. Welcome back to the PCP edition of the Is It Kino podcast. That's right. The People's Choice was pulled yet again, and they did not want to watch my favorite film, Cloud Atlas. I think it got less votes than Three Geezers, which is not even a real movie. It's something Florian <laughs> fucking made up for the poll. It got way more votes than my movie. Uh, but yeah, Erich is pick. I swear I've, I've seen Three Geezers at some point. All right, it must exist. Erich's pick of Planet of the Apes 2001 is Space Odyssey. Was the winner. And oh, I'm so glad that such a good movie won the poll. Now, he says that sarcastically perhaps ironically but i'm here to say you know every, three times so far this year we've had a, a monkey movie that we've reviewed and i set it up at the beginning as some sort of monkey debate and i think this one will be less forced than the other two because this movie has a reputation of being some dog shit horrible film and e rich seems to agree because he gave it one star on letterboxd Mm -hmm. But folks, as the monkey movie expert, allow me to be the first to say, this is a good movie. Wow. Wow. Three out of five. Anything. Good film. Three out of five. Have you logged it on Letterboxd? Yes, I did. Yes. I want you to read my Letterboxd review in your Marky Mark <laughs> voice right now. Please, Erich. Hold on. Hold on. Wow. Let, me, let me pull this up. Yeah. A weekend, do you strongly disagree with my statement here? Uh, there are some entertaining parts, but I don't think it's a good movie. Oh. Yeah. Well, Surely Florian Himsel will be on my side. Oh, the disappointment. Well, I think it makes no sense, and it's painfully <laughs> stupid, but I, 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 guess it, I guess it was fun enough to watch, you know? I, I gave it two out of five on that box. That, 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 that has never stopped you before, Florian. Yeah, I, I, what I are guess... What you talking it, about? I, I, I expect my movies to make sense, okay? It's entertaining. Let's see yeah. here. I'm gonna move. It's painfully stupid. Did you find my review, Monkey, Erich? Did you like it when the guy no. said, "Get your hands off me, you damn dirty human," oh, and he slaps so him stupid. around? It's called a callback. I don't know why everybody's so hateful. <laughs> it's the worst callback ever. Oh, uh, or, or how about when Charleston <laughs> Heston was in an ape suit and he said, "Damn them, damn them all to hell," then he dies. So it was it was that, that was extremely Kino. He's an ape who hates humans so much that he literally dies, damning them to hell. <laughs> like he, he yeah. it kills him. He's like mid sentence. <laughs> yeah. He dies because he hates them so much. E Rich, for the love of fuck, him. do you know how to work your phone? Can we move on to the next segment? Are you gonna re uh, fucking oh, read I, this I, shit? I have it. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I have I have it pulled up here. Okay. Hopefully All it's right. funny enough to make this eight minute wait worth it. Do it. Yeah. If I was on that planet with those apes, wouldn't it <laughs> gone down like that like it did? There would have been a lot of blood in that log cabin. 
What is with the log cabin part? Because he says there would have been a lot of blood in the first class cabin. Oh, I see. Yeah, and you know their houses are kind of made out of logs. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. It's called being very clever at 8 a.m. as I'm reviewing this film. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But now it's 11 a.m. and I'm reviewing it again with my three worst enemies. Before we dive into the film, uh, should we talk about the real monkey in the room? Uh, you, you mean the elephant? Are, yep. are we going to rise up against the monkeys who enslave us? Is that what we're doing in this movie? Well, I don't know. We've had a lot of build up to this epic controversy of Florian quitting <laughs> Izakino, and we haven't oh, really yeah. addressed it yet. Can I press yep. F? I'm pressing F. Well, I don't know, because he's, he's here right now, and he's still going to be here, ne like, next month when we do another well, PCP. Well, I said that I would, I would downgrade to be an occasional guest. I don't know why why you're going to say I'm quitting. You realize that <laughs> that baby episode was recorded, like, a month ago, and it was referring to how I was going to announce this on the Furiosa review. But then the Furiosa review didn't happen, because the monkey once again canceled the podcast, and then we did it on my channel instead. It's not my fault George Miller made a movie that was not in interesting enough to talk about yeah. well, that's, and I, I listened to your hour-long podcast and it seemed you guys struggled as well so I was right to cancel <laughs> no way that podcast was good wow even purple said if e if Everidge was not there it would have been uh a disaster <laughs> <laughs> well you had Wait, Everidge too so it would have worked for you too <laughs> is, that, is that the wow. podcast for you it's so nice I, yeah, I think I listened Florian to a podcast where you, we, well, or you and or and Purple called me one of the good ones. Is that that podcast? That's not well, the way I'm going down. One. Uh, okay, <laughs> one of the you good ones one the, in what category? Right, as, a, as a right wing, <laughs> as a quote unquote right winger. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yay! Always, always with those <laughs> misogynist opinions. You know what? What did you think of the women in this movie? Huh? Oh, I well, think they're hot. Yeah, I think we'll we'll get to that. I mean, <laughs> Helena right Bottom here. Carter has never been more sexy, but I would like mm. to point out that on an episode of this very program, the PCP, many moons ago, it, we agreed, it was before e Rich's time, the three yeah. of us, Weekend and Florian, we agreed, hey, we like doing these PCP episodes so much. What, what if we start doing them twice per month instead of once per month? And all three of us said, yeah, let's do that. 14 <laughs> months later, we never actually did that. But well, you're, you're the, the way he's in charge of when we do them. Well, the way I see it, if Florian only wants to be on PCPs now, but he also agreed to do them twice per month, I guess we're going to get just as much Florian anyway. Oh, yeah, that's great. I'll, I'll just go for once a month, and whenever I don't like the movie, I'll, I'll drop out. Yeah, uh, well, if, if you miss one episode, you don't get to come back. That's the thing. <laughs> wow. Yeah, we're, we're, we're burning this bridge. All right. <laughs> the whole point is that the audience votes for what, what movie we're tortured with. So if you can pick and choose when you show up, you're not actually mm. on the show. Oh, wow. Fair. Yeah, because everyone always shows up for these ones. Yep. He said sarcastically, oh, although he's absolutely wrong. Excuse me? <laughs> like, fucking absolute retard take. Like, go through the playlist. We're always here. There's no way Erich was on, on most of them. He joined the show I after, like, 15 episodes, and he hasn't missed one since. Yeah, he hasn't. Mm. Okay, well, I guess... Uh, I guess so I'm, a, I'm a big retard. Sorry, oh, well. Florian. Yeah, okay. Okay, tell me about this monkey movie, Florian. Well, it's crazy how little sense it makes. How how do they <laughs> on, how are they constantly surprised that the humans are able to to do like basic things when they are using yeah. them as slaves? Like that, you're not using them as livestock where you milking them and and, and <laughs> slaughtering them for their meat. No, you, you're using them as house servants. My house servant can do basic things. Holy well, shit! What a surprise! Man. The same thing could be said of uh, Antebellum South, where we assumed that these black. Uh, black people were below their normal intelligence and yeah, they you think, you think, put things together. Yeah, you think it was looked at exactly the same way and, 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 and people were shocked when, when a black person well, yeah. to form sentences. Back yeah, then? because in the movie yeah. they have a black wow. guy who points to the white guy and says, oh, he's a house human. Florian, <laughs> did you get that? Vietnam fucking shits. Yeah. What? Vietnam? Oh, yeah. You gotta read into my Wikipedia page. There's a lot of interesting stuff in there. <laughs> well, I, what? I, wow, okay, he's a hero. I, I get it. It's, it's such social commentary. Wow, 
it's I get it. Okay, well, it's it's just how we did it. I I don't buy it. All right, these these humans are clearly superior to these apes, and it's ridiculous that that they've been enslaved all this time. What's so clear about that? Because the apes are superior physically, and they're always beating the shit out of these humans, and they're at least equally intellectually. So I don't see why the apes would not enslave the humans. I mean, it doesn't like it doesn't work out at all because like. These apes can't even swim, and and all they can do is like yeah. waddle around. They they're really slow. Like how, how are you gonna get defeated by an army hey, of apes? Come on. They're like flying no, around. Yeah. Don't you didn't you see the movie? Like they're like jumping all over the place. Like, yeah, it's yeah, like a twenty crazy. foot jump. Yeah, when there's yeah. trees, yeah, then they can jump. But like you, you don't see him being able to do much out in the desert. Well, sorry. Like, the they, biggest problem here is that the, these humans have not progressed technologically. So yeah, they, they came from space. Or, yeah, and they yeah. forgot everything. They came for, yeah, they forgot everything. Yeah, there's somehow. not even a virus. They they're just mm. stupid now. <laughs> yeah, just just don't think about how the apes evolved to become like humans in, in yeah, five thousand no years that passed. No, don't think about it. Yeah, just just don't think about it. Don't think about how these humans still have some language or culture, even though they they reduced to fucking looking like jungle people and you know fu- don't don't think about it that is don't the problem think about, don't it- think about how in the ending the humans suddenly all appear when they have no sophisticated way to communicate okay just don't think about that <laughs> yeah. just, just don't think about it just don't think about how how the, these fucking apes have managed to make civilization without you know j- making boats or whatever the fuck it's just water oh <laughs> water <laughs> shut up uh, yeah, I, I also just, love how yeah. they how they constantly talk about a planet. Like, wow, you you guys don't have flight yet. What are you What are you talking what? about a planet? You don't know what a planet is. How would you know I mean, that? Florian. <laughs> we knew about the planets before we had flight. Ancient Greece, Florian. Yeah, I feel like There's you no guys are approaching that, that, the movie like you want to dissect it intellectually and make sure I, it makes want, sense. Like that's not what this line. movie is about. It's a, it's a movie where sense. Marky Mark is sent like 500 years in the future for no reason. And no, then, no, and then no, he's, no, he's, he gets to, has to fight against ape generals and like an ape army. It's fucking cool. <laughs> Why are you trying to no, dissect? No, no. Like, of course. No, monkey. Like, as soon monkey as they're speaking own. English, you should know you're on the planet Earth. <laughs> because other planets monkey, don't monkey. fucking speak English. Okay? Monkey, monkey. monkey, let me just correct you. This is a movie where Marky Mark is sent to the future so that two babes can fight over him. A chimpanzee <laughs> and, and, a, and a girl. Chimpan and, and, A and, and chimpanzee. Kind of the chimpan ape, yeah. So. Yeah, but a human woman doesn't really do much. Like, she's no. pretty yeah, empty she's, headed, yeah, okay? She's kind of yeah, just pouting the whole time. Just kinda, yeah. yeah. I'm surprised you can even talk most of the time, you know? I, I guess I can <laughs> see how it works. Whoa, and they call me the misogynist. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay, I'm going to go through all the good stuff in the movie since you guys just want to, like, nitpick and, you know... Oh, I, I have one spot, There's some real okay. mauler opinions coming from Florian. I guess I, let's hear the next mm. one. <laughs> okay, I, I hate it how in the, in the new Plan of the Apes, the woman is assumed to be unable of speech and yet she's wearing a modern outfit it's like wow are you expecting us to believe that this this caveman woman has worn clothes she's not trying to trick us she's I, trying to trick the apes well the apes would know too like if they if didn't know wearing, like they don't understand <laughs> human fashion trends florian come on <laughs> yeah, really well I'm, I'm glad that here the humans are wearing caveman outfits most of the time and and weird medieval stuff so it makes sense that you you could think that they're lower evolved I mean, I see people wearing modern day clothes and I consider them lower evolved. So, mm-hmm. like, if you even care about clothing and fashion at all, you're below me intellectually, but that's fine. Uh, here's some wow. good things in the movie. So, at the mm-hmm. beginning, Marky Mark is on a spaceship and they're doing monkey experiments in space. Who I don't fucking know what their mission is. I don't care. The point is. You gotta, you gotta put me in. This monkey is flying all over the place. <laughs> you can't handle it. <laughs> and, but send a, mon- a monkey to a man's job or, or something like that. And they Why say, hey, a monkey to do a man's job. There's an electromagnetic storm that is broadcasting every television broadcast in human history to our ship at the same time. Mm-hmm. And the very first image we see is Adolf Hitler giving a speech. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, of all the things that have ever been televised, that's number one. Like, it, you have to imagine it's a random broadcast if it's everything just going mm-hmm. like all the information. 
information. Well, it well, should have been like it, clips it, of The Simpsons or something. It, it's Hitler giving a speech. Well, it did show like a million different clips all at, at once. I mean, it, it only lasts about eight seconds, and so they chose like, let's start this off with Hitler. We'll go to Bill Clinton. <laughs> we'll show wow. those dudes lifting the American flagpole. Yeah. Well, but, you know. Well, if we ever make first contact with aliens, we do want to be able to compare everything to Hitler for them <laughs> yeah. so they understand. <laughs> yeah, so they have a basis of comparison for something that's bad. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, this is just foreshadowing for my for my pick for the PCP poll, you know? Well, you're not beating my pick this week. I decided if this is the oh. only way you're on the show, I'm torturing you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and we'll be back in two time. weeks. <laughs> Two weeks? Yeah, I don't know. Twice a month. I think I, I, think I might be busy. Damn. Mm. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't think anybody's buying that excuse, Florian. We all know the yeah. real reason is not that you're busy or have something better to do. We, we know there's something else underlying here, but that's fine. Yeah, you think We know so? you're not okay. fucking busy. We know how you live. <laughs> well, I, I just said that I'm focusing on work, you know? Okay. Are you always stressing me out, talking shit, you know? <laughs> Yeah. So, so now there's a lot less of that, and I'm getting more work done. So sorry. It's, it's Honestly, good for out. you, Florian. Good for you. Yeah, like, I'm, I'm sure poor Mouse will be out this year. I'll believe yeah, it. F- for sure. Yeah. Like, it's good to set boundaries, Florian. Yeah, it's definitely. Yeah. Like, definitely good to have like a friend who's always doubting you. Yep. <laughs> yeah. I need I need this time for my work. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. Exactly. You guys so, think what, what that I can get the same dispensation to write the great American novel? <laughs> Oh yeah, sure. Yeah, you can quit this podcast to go write your book. I know, you know, the forty minutes a week's a big time commitment for you, E. Rich. (laughs) Yeah, it's pretty hard to respect other people's time. I get it. Sure, it's hard to respect you in general, the way you treat fucking (laughs) yeah, purple. Whoa, (laughs) yeah, that's right. We're starting a coalition. Wow, yeah, (laughs) the same purple coalition. (laughs) Is that the theme of it? Wait, are you Wait, guys unionizing what? without me? Yeah, yeah. all the Florian's you're, employees. No, you're going to write the great American novel titled <laughs> e- Erich and the Monkey People. Uh, I don't know. I think we need to talk about Paul Giamatti here because it, this is 2001. Oh, yeah. So he goes, in 2001, he plays a racist slave owner, Ape. And in 2002, he plays Big Fat Liar, a Hollywood executive who abuses children. So just Marty Wolf. Back to back, this man is not afraid to take any role. He'll do mm. anything. He's the best part of this movie. Is, does yeah, everyone agree? He's amazing indeed. Yeah, yeah he was enjoying it. I get that. <laughs> he works so well as an ape. It's perfect. How does he do it? <laughs> I mean, it's the role he was born to play. He he understood just, the assignment. <laughs> he's just a great actor, I feel. And yeah, there's no doubt it's him. He's just really living the ape. <laughs> him and Tim Roth, I feel like, are on a different level to everyone else. <laughs> and Tim Roth is like the the leader of the enemy coalition, pretty much? Yes. Mm-hmm. He's the one whose dad hates humans so much that it kills him? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> he died with hate in his heart. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, the basic uh, conflict here is that there's this ape senator and his libtard daughter. She sees humans as something worthy of like dignity and respect. And she's like, oh, why are we treating them like this? Oh, they're capable of art and culture. And all the other apes are like, oh, bullshit. Uh, and she uh, she's going to go on the journey to help Marky Mark. I did like that scene with, with Fade and he, he just kicks Marky Mark and is there a soul in this? <laughs> it just looks yeah like he's his ripping mouth. his mouth open to the yeah, check yeah. for his soul that was pretty good and then he sees like a like a, a fake tooth like what what was he thinking there what, what's this what's this filling huh? what is this ancient <laughs> technology that he's using there to have his tooth replaced no I, I do think pain is one of the best parts of the movie like when he he chimps out literally <laughs> when he he just She's great. I, I, yeah, I, I, I love I love when these these apes who are able able to speak just randomly just start doing monkey noises. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> totally not annoying at all. Hmm. It's it's fine. Like, I don't like that when the ape gets offended when somebody calls him a monkey and he's like, "That's ape to you, Pip Squeak." Like, <laughs> you know, just 
you know, it'd be like if Weekend got mad that we called him Japanese or something. Like, for fuck's sake, yeah, it's exactly. all the same <laughs> shit. Exactly. It's like... Well, monkeys are way less evolved than apes. Come on. Yeah, same like, thing with said, Filipinos I... and Japanese, but come on. <laughs> Wow. I wouldn't know. I, I'm Thailand. Yeah. So I, would, I wouldn't know that. I just fuck lady boys out here in Thailand. <laughs> yeah, you're one step evolved above Filipinos. Thank you, Kyan. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> They're gonna kill me when they find out this podcast. It's like, oh my god. They're just gonna fucking. Uh, here's oh. a line of dialogue that could have been reworked, maybe. So, like, the blonde human woman, she, even though the apes are helping her escape, she's, like, really resentful and hateful towards them and, like, cannot clarify in her head that these ones are on my side. So she's just saying mean things. And the the ape, you know, the, the libtard senator's daughter ape, she says, yeah, us apes, we're scared of water. Like, we can't swim, and that's why. And the blonde says, yeah, that's why we pray for rain. So they pray for rain because the apes can't swim. Yeah, Maybe these humans well. are not that smart. Yeah, they're not. <laughs> yeah. yeah, like, why would they... You have, to sw- you have to swim through rain? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they're and not smart, drown in the rain yeah, sometimes. Not. I agree. Who fucking drowns in the rain? Can you guys <laughs> tell watching this movie that it's a Tim Burton movie? Because I, I don't think I no, could tell I did not. his name wasn't on it. I, well, I, I heard there was, was a Tim Burton, Burton movie. movie. I, I did I wasn't sure if it was this one. <laughs> it was I, this one. This, you can read the credits to see whether he directed it or not. I mean I see this like very mild influences, I guess, but like you can hardly tell. I think his directing yeah, yeah. was better in the nightmare before Christmas. And he didn't direct that. That's the joke, you oh. fucking libcuck. <laughs> oh, cry me more liberal tears that he didn't direct the nightmare before Christmas. <laughs> he did put his name on it though. Go ahead, weekend. It's like Oh, I heard. He didn't I was gonna say Nightmare I, Before Christmas because of woke. Oh, I was, yeah, I remember now. <laughs> because it, of woke. Was, it didn't feel like a Tim Burton. It didn't feel like a Tim Burton movie. Yeah, it's like it's it's the late late quirky part of the Tim Burton resume. It wasn't apparent here. Mm-hmm. It, it, it's, was it he feels was he like trying he to become a money. regular director in this time? Yeah, that's what it felt like. It felt like some some director that they just got from nowhere. But no, it's fucking Tim Burton. Mm-hmm. I think I might have a big cultural hole for Tim Burton because I can't think of one of his good movies that I've seen. Have you seen Mars Attacks? Uh, no. Mars Attacks is pretty good. Oh, man. Funny. Mars Attacks yeah. is good as fuck. Yeah. yeah I, so I should start I there. That. That's funny as fuck. Jack Nicholson plays two characters. I know all his like <laughs> movies in the 90s were probably good, but I don't know if I've even seen one. Wow. Oh, that Beatles yeah. Shoes. I haven't it's seen that nice. one yet. I want to see that before Jesus. the new one. I think, but you would like Ed Wood as well. Ed Ed Wood is really good. Is that about uh, like a bad filmmaker? Yes. Yeah, that sounds good. The guy who made Playing Nine from Outer Space. Oh, apparently he made Wednesday. uh, He directed Wednesday four episodes Mm -hmm. of it. I fell asleep watching that, and then it just kept playing. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. So Netflix says you watched them. (laughs) Yeah. I didn't even see the fucking famous dance scene. Oh, he made the terrible Alice in Wonderland. Jesus. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that piece of shit. <laughs> yeah, the bat, the Batman and Batman Returns. I like those. So that's Tim Burton. Yeah, I haven't seen those old Batman movie movies Damn, either. Frank, bro. The Frankenweenie. Now that's a classic. Yep. Well, okay, so so Tim Burton's done better than this. Raves E. Rich McCoy. Yep. Uh, e. Rich, right. you gave this one I star. Try to that. justify that E. Rich, because that seems a little low. Um, it probably is low, like, because this is a pretty shiny Hollywood production, uh, so it, like, looks good overall. Um, I think Marky Mark is pretty awful. I, I, I'm, yeah. I'm, pretty, I'm pretty bad in this one as a, <laughs> as a main character. Um, I think Mark I Wahlberg, it, it, part of his charm is that he's not necessarily ever good, right? <laughs> Uh, he's what's, good what's, like the other guys. He's I just I just like that. seeing him be himself in a movie. Like this and is what this is what would happen if Mark Wahlberg landed on the Planet of the Apes. He's good in Pain and Gain. He's actually uh, like acting in Pain and Gain. He's good in uh, what's the Paul Thomas Anderson movie? Uh, this reminds me of his fucking performance in that M Night Shyamalan movie. Or was that an M Night? The Shyamalan Happening. Movie? The Happening. Yeah. It's like he's so out of place. What? That, like, the character doesn't Whoa. fit. Him. I'm, ta- I'm talking to a plant. Like, <laughs> a plant. 
What so basically, movie? when he plays like a scientist, it, you don't buy it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. What about in Transformers? Can't explain anything about the world? What? <laughs> like he's like uh, a, a brilliant engineer in the Transformers yes. movie. I'm an inventor. You gotta let me invent. <laughs> yeah, and now an astronaut. Yeah, it's pretty right. convincing, you know. Pretty pretty cucked though that he has to watch apes do his job and he doesn't get to fly mm-hmm. himself. Yeah, cucked by an ape. <laughs> it's pretty pretty emblematic for what will happen for the rest of the movie i guess yeah the be- the movie starts with him upstaged by a monkey and then the <laughs> monkey fucks off and fucks something up and then he has to go rescue the monkey and then he gets pushed through a hole in time or something and uh he ends up on a planet full of fucking monkeys because the monkey fell through the hole right that's what i'm assuming yeah. Yeah, don't you hate when that happens? Just go to a planet like, full of apes. This movie yeah. is the dumbest version of explaining exactly <laughs> what the fuck happened, and then also it makes no sense at the end. Because like Yeah, when apes he goes back form- in time, why does it why is like the entire history of the world now was apes and like even Abraham Lincoln was an yeah, ape? Yeah, I'm looking at both of my hands being yeah, like, okay, so really the monkey weird. the monkey goes back in time and triggers everything, but yeah. uh it, everything is exactly the same except it has monkeys in it. <laughs> what yeah. does that mon- mean? The monkey Don't think become about Don't think about is it. that what yeah. happened? The, the one Don't from the spaceship? Up. And apparently the book is like this. Apparently like this is more true to how the book ends than uh well, the book, books are overrated, E. Rich. Books don't always okay. make sense. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, have you read the Bible? It's full of contradictions and bullshit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, like, how did Fade know how to work the spaceship enough so that he managed to take it out of a planet and go back in time well, yeah right anyway <laughs> is, it, that is what it happened to them? yeah i think that that makes sense right he he manages to because of the time dilation shenanigans he, he gets the spaceship out for for whatever reason right then he tra- he manages to travel back further in time to change human history that's what probably happened and that's why the monkeys mon- monkeys now rule the earth a- Abe Lincoln, yeah, I think that's that's what happened. Oh god! Oh my god! Brilliant. But we still haven't discussed the more important part, where this fucking movie turned me into a furry because I want to watch Elena Bonham Carter. Yeah, wow. that's fair. Chimp, chimp ape costume. Goddamn! Like, how, how did that happen? <laughs> are, are there furry apes? Is that a thing? No, yeah. Did you see so. when they were when they were doing the yeah, Scooby Doo running away, and they they run into the orangutan and the other girl, like they, they were gonna fuck, <laughs> right? Wow. But, but uh, and and she was like dancing on top of the guy or whatever the fuck, and and they run into like Scooby Doo or and, and yeah, yeah. They just. I like how she just how they just evolve like human boobs, you know, but they yeah, still exactly. don't walk up right properly, <laughs> but at least they got the boobs right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they probably have big dicks too you know they probably evolved really big dicks but they they're too afraid to show it <laughs> Erich, did you ever justify that. your one star all right well, <laughs> i was trying and then i got yeah. sidetracked yeah then they wanted like, to talk about dick sizes that. on apes the movie the movie is just boring otherwise is the problem like see i did I not get that like at all like out. i feel like the adventure of marky mark in this stranger in a strange land fish out of water I, I i didn't really get bored at any point well i i think he is a bad actor when he's not utilized correctly but is that not here. entertaining like how are you bored by a bad performance um, because he has no charisma in this role. That's just false. What? That's false. <laughs> he's charismatic hey. while being bad. Like he's convi- he's he's got this fucking ape woman all over his dick. He's got the riz. He rich. <laughs> <laughs> he's got the riz. Um, let's see here. Yeah, I guess you don't really like bad movies then. The only thing I liked about this movie was Paul Giamatti, Tim Roth, and the costumes. Because the costumes. That's the, like sixty percent of the movie. I think you should at least move it up to like a one and a half star. Because <laughs> mm. of the costumes. <laughs> sure. Because like one star, that's that's pretty low. That's what I gave yeah, Boat Trip. For like this is so much for like, better than Boat Trip. 
Well, I, I really didn't like the, the start when they're in space. Like, that took forever and it looked so fake and stupid. <laughs> and, I, and it was boring too. And the, the apes, were, like, it makes even less sense than the rest of the movie. Like, why would you put apes into space? They don't have computers to fly ships yet? No, we gotta train apes to do it. Wow. Hey, that ape was good at flying his spaceship and he became a god for an entire planet species. Yeah, yeah. I guess they did it right. If, if Unless they wanted humans to rule the world. Them. <laughs> yeah, and there's not really like I, I like the conflict in this because even though the Roth ape and he was like the leader of the military, it, it seems like he's viciously evil against humans. But we don't necessarily have a reason to be against his worldview, do we? Like as far as he knows, he, he's lived his whole life like this, where apes are in control. And if some humans came out of space and tried to fuck up your way of life and go to war with you, I think he has a right to do all the actions he did in the film. So you're saying I, he did nothing wrong? Pretty that, much. Uh, you're saying that to better protect our species? What, what, what the fuck is that? 14 words? <laughs> the 14, yeah. To, yeah, that, what is that? I think you have to protect uh, your species and create a future oh, for for the whole for uh, the children. Yeah, I, I, I highly know, doubt that ape and human could interbreed. For ape <laughs> children, there you go. <laughs> yeah, and that's what he was doing. Like Mark Wahlberg, if he had his way, he was going to change the entire way of life of the planet to benefit the humans, and that's just no good for the apes. Mm-hmm. Like well, if I mean, if we're gonna pull them up, that's only going to bring our way of life down. There's only so many resources. I think if I'm above somebody else in society, they should stay where they are and let me reap the benefits from up here. It's pretty clear that there was gonna be a lot of interbreeding in in Marky Mark society. So I think he's <laughs> definitely a hero. He was yeah, definitely gonna know. fuck that ape, but interbreeding, yeah. I don't know if, if that's possible. If that's possible, yeah, you have to. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's actually theory. possible to. To interbreed humans and chimpanzees. I know you've been trying, Florian, but it, it's not what? possible. Really? Yeah, like if you look it up, apparently it's possible. Theoretically. It, it, it's, there's no way. <laughs> Just go fucking ape and see then. Ape and see. That's how AIDS started. Spoiler alert for the 80s or whatever, but like they, we've been fucking apes for a little bit here, buddy. None of them have well, gotten pregnant. To my knowledge, other than wait, my parents. <laughs> wait, that's how AIDS started? No yeah, way. some dude <laughs> fucked a monkey, dude. Fuck, <laughs> no way. You don't man. think that the kid on my school bus would lie to me back in fourth grade? <laughs> pretty, pretty sure that's like a myth or something. What? You know? Yeah, but like, uh, <laughs> but he was in fifth did, grade. He was so cool. How yeah. did HIV come about? <laughs> <laughs> I, I promise it has a monkey in there somewhere. Yeah. Wow. Well. Oh, oh my god, it comes from chimps and they spread into contact with humans after they came to contact with blood, carrying the infection after hunting chimpanzees for food. Oh. I wonder how that mm. happened. <laughs> yeah, for food. Monkey, do you think that HIV came out because some human was superb enough to eat out the chimp? Do you think that happened? If you're hungry enough, you'll eat anything. Yeah, okay, there you go. <laughs> it, it explains schnitzel. Wow. It explains a lot, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if one of you were starving, would you eat a schnitzel? On a desert island, would you eat monkey pussy? <laughs> monkey schnitzel? Probably not. Monkey. Jeez, can I eat any other part of the monkey? Jeez, no, nope, that's like, I- that's the option. <laughs> that's the only option. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> wow, what, what e- literally <laughs> eating the pussy. <laughs> this, this is. I can't, Florian, I can't believe you're dropping this this peak content for, for some other <laughs> podcast. Oh no, he's also recording eating. this for anti-reviews, I assume. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, she's putting it out, yeah. Oh my god. I, I was gonna say about Fade, like, I would... He's compelling enough, it's just that the reason he's evil, he, he doesn't want to even communicate or understand humans. Like, he's been indoctrinated by Charleston Heston as a, as a, as a little ape, ape to think that humans are the enemy. But does he not have that right? But it's, no, it's weird because... No, they just have him as slaves. So they, he does not have that right. Well, we only, that we only like the humans because we're human, but like, put yourself in the monkey's shoes. Like, why would he change anything about his society? But this is the problem I have with it, because, like, the humans are so inept 
they're not really a fucking threat. So it comes across as really just tyrannical because of it. But other but he's really entertaining. Like I like that he backstabs the big apes just to protect the information that these humans come from the future and he knows more about the history than he lets on. That was nice. Yeah, I like the the historical like the secrets of history angle to it and like on his mm-hmm. deathbed Charles and Heston Ape is revealing these secrets to his son like oh, th- here's how our society of apes actually started the humans used to be superior like w- once you learn that you know you have to wipe out the threat like you have to keep them down yeah. they're going to reclaim their throne wow and we wouldn't want that no way you're gonna be stuck in the stone ape yeah, gonna have no future. Yeah, why when he goes back in time, are the apes, they're more sophisticated and like driving like police cruisers and shit. But 400 years after that, they're living like in a kind of a shittier society. What's going on? I really cannot explain it. I, I, was the twist ending of this just like tacked on for fun? I guess you said it's from the book, but it really feels like they just wanted a twist and they didn't realize it doesn't fit with the rest of the movie. All right, so who traveled back in time? Marky Mark. They, Marky Mark did at first and then Thade did, right? Well, I assume Thade must have went further back and then he made everyone apes. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I think that's what happened too. So it's like a, in Back to the Future 2 when old Biff goes back in time and <laughs> makes it so he'll yeah, yeah. become like Trump. But then when he goes back t- to where he came from and it's like a different version of the future. And then he like fades out of existence. So it's kind of like that. Well, He, just he returns to a timeline become, that can't exist. Yeah, just well, maybe it's an alternate like dimension. And, and, and then everyone became apes following his example. Okay. Hey, Florian, did you vote recently? What the fuck? I actually tried to vote today, but uh, I was late by an hour. Oops. It, that's fucked. Um, it looks like Austria and Germany are looking to get far right uh, wins for the parties, um, according to exit polls. So why did well, you not for, do for more the, to stop this, Florian? For the EU election, yeah, I guess I really blew it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oops. Your, your vote could have mattered. Yeah, now we're gonna leave the you just when, like when do they when did they close the polls well i read online that it was at, at five but it turned out to be four so that sucked jeez 4 p.m <laughs> yeah. we we have the polls open like all the fucking time like they're open late at night for us you can just mail in your votes here and they don't even check if you actually are alive they just you know they oh that's a vote it counts they came in the mail they're also in, in the another southeast Asian country, yeah. <laughs> oh, in the Philippines? Yeah, that that fucking yeah, that shithole. <laughs> that shithole, yeah. Uh, so, is that uh, four recommendations around the board on this fine film? We all loved no. it. Thanks for voting for it. <laughs> no. Should we start the next it's a PCP 2. 5 poll? Out of five. Yeah, there you go. That, that's my. Hey, point. that's pretty good. Yeah, I didn't hate it, but th- I, there were parts where I was like, "Mark, you Mark is just a charisma vacuum." So I, rude. I agree with Erich to the point that like the the Marky Mark part is annoying and it's held up by the cool the the funny ape interaction. Other than that, I I, I like the fade half of the movie more than, than the Marky Mark part, which is bad because he's the protagonist. <laughs> oh, there you go. You got to be a I'm real Marky Mark head to enjoy the film. <laughs> go so, ahead, yeah, Florian. Yeah. This was pretty weird. I, I don't know what to think. It's like, like so many things happened, and yet like it felt so unimpactful. It's weird. It's like I can't believe <laughs> they, 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 they're still they're thinking like, oh yeah, we're gonna take over the the planet. We're gonna cleanse the humans. Y- you don't have boats, fuck's sake. I don't get it. How, the stakes are so stupid and low. <laughs> but yeah, I'm I get, when they get. Yeah. Sorry. Go ahead. Sorry. sorry. Yeah, it was fine. Most. That's all. I guess. But not nothing t- too special. Go ahead. What were we gonna say? No, it's like uh, when you said that it, they were gonna do something useless. Like when Chris, I think it, it, the guy that looks like Chris Kristofferson. I don't know if it's actually him. He yeah, that was him. Himself. 
It is him, yeah. He sacrificed himself, but they were so near the exit. He, they just could have ran. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, he was wounded already, so... He had a charge uh-huh. at a giant gorilla with, a, like, a spear or something, and then yeah. he, he got his ass whooped. Yeah, he just yeah. lifts him up, like, holds him by his head, you know? And then the other dude popped up behind him. He didn't really stand a ghost of a chance. e give us your, your raving review so we can move on. Mm, this movie is a huge disappointment, especially after watching the other Apes movies that are really fucking good overall. Um, this is the one bad one in the series. Uh, Tim Burton should be shot for this. Um, oh, he should be damn. saved for several other reasons, but then also should be shot again for other reasons. So um, it's okay. about a wash for Tim Burton overall. <laughs> if this is the worst in a 10 movie franchise, surely this is the greatest franchise of all time. I mean, it's definitely the best science fiction franchise that exists. The best one to have monkeys in it. I mean, have you seen Back to the Future? <laughs> no monkeys, right? Are there monkeys um, in there? No, but it's better science fiction franchise. It, uh, it, it is is Back to the Future one, two, and three are all equal quality. I yeah, sure. Close they're all it. pretty fucking good. Yeah, no, I, good. I, I thought yeah. the third one was worse. Well, that's just no, the uh, one, a I normie think. opinion. Okay, I've never seen it. So <laughs> how fucking dare you, fucking Purple <laughs> Colonel in here reviewing shit he's never seen. <laughs> mm-hmm. Wow, Florian, you're right to shit on that guy. <laughs> <laughs> wow, what a guy. <laughs> I wouldn't respect him either. <laughs> yeah, poor, poor purple. Okay, we're doing the PCP poll. We all pick a movie. Audience votes. Go ahead, Florian. All right, I'm putting on Max 2002. Can you put in in what? parentheses? It's the movie. What? What's, What's that? that? You you've seen What's this that? movie? I've, I've, seen, I've seen Max. Can you put in parentheses Hitler's art career? Oh, oh yeah. Max Rothman and a young Austrian painter, Adolf Hitler. Ooh. I'm not going to lie, folks. I'm you only putting put the name of the, the movie. Description. Otherwise, people will not fucking know what you're... It sounds like Florian's <laughs> yeah. problem to me, to be honest. I'm not fucking editorializing the names of these movies to get more votes. <laughs> yeah, just, just no chance, you know what I mean? Florian, why are you so interested in re-reviewing movies that you already talked about? There's this one guy who constantly tells me to put it on the poll, okay? Mm-hmm. Why not Father Stu and keep the Marky Mark train going? <laughs> uh, oh, hell yeah. Oh, that one already lost. Maybe you should put it on. I don't want uh, to. I... <laughs> yeah, okay. Go ahead, Weekend. So far, Have there's watched... no competition on the poll. Have you guys watched Haunted Mansion? Cause Which one? Which one? The one the last Eddie Murphy year. one? That, that, oh, the, the new one. Is, yeah, the new one watched. <laughs> is it bad or is it? Just... It's it's not very good. <laughs> it's not very good. Wow. So did you? So did any of you watch Fool's Paradise then? The, yes, the, it's fucking the Charlie awful. Day movie. Yeah, the Charlie Day one. Yeah. Yes, it's bad. Oh damn! So what am I gonna put here? God damn it! Those were my. Like... You should put Fool's Paradise so the monkey has to watch it. It, oh yeah, that's not go. gonna win. <laughs> you, you guys forgot that people have to click on the movie for it to win. Mm-hmm. Yeah, if yeah. you haven't heard it, they'll not click it. Okay, well, E. Rich, I, I'm 100 percent confident I'm winning based on those two. But let's hear what you've got this week. All right, my selection is Heavy Metal, a uh, cartoon movie from I think huh. the 80s or 90s or something. Oh, that, that um, that's not gonna win, man. <laughs> Well, pretty obscure. <laughs> Maybe I should put Cloud Atlas again. I actually stand a chance this week. <laughs> yeah. They're cartoon chicks. No, no, I do like I do like the what I've seen. Like there's a G, there's a gif of the guy with the sword, right, and and lightning strikes on the background that I, I mean, think is heavy metal. I mean, this That's is cool. like a, a bunch of violence, I guess. Like the, the, the story is pretty much non-existent. I don't know. It's fine, I guess. Is this some shit that Jack Black would say is epic and groovy? Probably. Okay. Sounds good. <laughs> you know, I'm a big fan of Young JB. There's there's South Park episode that is a spinoff or a takeoff of it. Okay. I, I mean, it's pretty much like like his game, Brutal Legends, I guess. That's what I was thinking <laughs> of, yeah. To it, yeah. <laughs> Folks, the year was 2007, and my, my good buddy Josh Case was having a birthday party. I believe it was around November, maybe March. Or no, not November, February or March. 
and we wanted to go see a movie. We went and saw this movie, and we had a good time. We walked in late, didn't see the beginning, so I've been dying to know what the first five minutes of this movie looked like. When you said Haunted Mansion, I was thinking we were going to double up on the Eddie Murphy, but not quite. Who has a good guess on this one? Haunted Mansion with Eddie Murphy. The 2007 movie, Rich. Close, but no cigar. Uh, We're thinking of Norbit. Shit. Norbit. It, oh, fuck. Is, really? Is it the, oh, is it the no. Monster House? Yes, it's no. the Monster House, a.k.a. Really? Norbit. <laughs> Norbit? Well, Somebody on my stream Norbit. brought up Norbit, and they gave me the flashback, and I was like, oh, I yeah. can't remember the name of Eddie Murphy's obese black character in the mm -hmm. film. We better Norbit watch it and find man. out. Well, his wife, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, Nor well, we'll see you next month for Norbit, because I already won. Yeah. We're finally gonna oh. snack on some chicken ass. I can't wait. Do you think Norbit has enough of a built up reputation that people would just vote for Norbit? Compared yes. to, I don't even remember the names of the movies you guys picked. Fucking Max, yeah. Heavy Metal, and what? I what? mean, if you, if you describe Haunted the movies, Mansion. Uh, oh, wait, you actually put Haunted Mansion, the new one? Weekend? No, I don't. Think oh, yeah. Uh, I thought he settled for something better. I, I thought. I just put those. Fool's Paradise, oh, that's yeah. right. Fool's Paradise. Fool's Paradise, Fool's Paradise. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I don't know. Seeing Charlie Day uh, fucking embarrass himself directing a movie. Uh, I'm willing to bet all of your picks get less than 10% each. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, that's possible. <laughs> it's just I'll a funny feeling. In there. <laughs> <laughs> you need to pick a movie that has Hitler in the title uh, if you want to win. No, it should have been Max and Hitler. <laughs> it wouldn't be as good if, if it had... Like, those movies aren't as good as that one, okay? Jeez. Mm-hmm. Well, Tragic. Florian, we only get to hear from you once a month now, so let's uh, let's get our monthly grinder update. How you been in the dating world, mm -hmm. my friend? Wow, damn. I can't, can't believe you, you're insisting on this again. Well, guess who's back? Back wow. again. Damn. Florian's back. <laughs> Tell a oh, friend. No, it's... Okay. It's that guy who ghosted me. He's back. Oh, Guess what shit. his excuse is? Uh, he needs more time to work on his video game. <laughs> no, he said his, his nan passed away. Wow, really? Uh, oh, an actual good excuse for abandoning somebody? Yeah, I, I, I bet, like, when, when my nan... Well, I don't even know what that is, but, like, if someone Grandma. passes away... Okay, then... I, I'm sure he, he'll go on <laughs> Grinder and not respond. I think that's exactly <laughs> what he'll do mm -hmm. when his grandma has just died, you know? It's, that's totally believable. Wait, wait, when your grandma's dead, you should load up Grinder and respond to these horny fucks? Well, he well, he loaded it up. He just didn't respond. Like, wow, I guess he was really traumatized. What a, yeah. What a poor guy. I, that, but unsarcastically, yeah. You can only pull that one twice, right? Or well, we'll yeah. Yeah, you might well, have we'll four see. grandmas. It could be. Maybe, maybe eventually. Maybe eventually I'll meet him. Who knows? Grandma-in-law? <laughs> yeah. What about foot fetish guy? Yeah, dude, I, I was not into it. I didn't, I didn't message him. Yep. What Four about the guy that looks like me? <laughs> Never talked to him. Too bad. <laughs> Oh. Wait, there was Maybe a guy who looked like Monkey? Monkey, no. is it? Did, Monkey, did you make a profile just to fuck with Florian? Come on. <laughs> I was considering really? it, but if I wanted to hit on him, I could just do it in DMs. I don't need to do it like a proxy or something. Fair enough. Yep. Florian, how would you respond to that kind of attention from Monkey? Uh, poorly. Poorly. <laughs> oh, I thought he was just playing hard to get and he really wanted me to flirt um. with him. <laughs> Would, wow, would you like God. go? <laughs> would you do that, Florian? Yeah, if, if 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 monkey suddenly wanted to come on to you, would, would, would no, you he would be like that? bad ape from War of the Planet of the Apes. Oh no! <laughs> oh, oh no! <laughs> That's so fun. That's I where love Steve Zahn. Comes from. That's so fucking funny. <laughs> oh my oh, God. God. Yep. Well, Can I just share something funny? Like, nope. There's no, there's no room there's for funny like, stuff on here. <laughs> mean. Uh, no, we're gonna sit in silence. I don't want to hear. <laughs> did you guys? Did you guys know about that baby rain? That reindeer thing? Yeah, oh, that so fat bitch is suing Netflix. But yeah, isn't that a self-report? 
<laughs> yeah, I guess like, so. <laughs> well, why would you say that? Because Baby Reindeer is like this uh, series about a uh, comedian's breakdown, and because part of it is because he's being stalked by this um, unlikable girl. He's got problems of his own, and she's a victim also. But at the end of the day, she she she's just stalking the guy, and he's giving him beef. And the the person based it on someone he knew in real life, and the person came out and sued Netflix for it. So I'm like, why would you do that? 170 million dollars or pounds. Yeah, but sorry. will she even get it? Also, no, probably not. Yeah. Wait, that woman well, weighs yeah, 170 so. million pounds? <laughs> exactly, exactly. Jesus. <laughs> exactly. Okay, weekend. Uh, I don't want to... I'm not going to grill you, okay? You're my friend. I love you. I respect you. I'm working hard on our collab video. But I do have to ask the question. Are you actually making a Suicide Squad video? Nah, I'm just, I'm, I'm, I've given up on life. Did, you, did you really drop it completely? I mean, you've had oh, so no. many chances over the over yeah. the past couple of months because, like, it's been in the news. Even recently, it was in the news. Yeah, uh, how I mean, much money it lost and yeah, it, it lost two hundred million for Warrior Brothers and their stock of the studio getting shut down. Mm-hmm. Is there like a, really an funny. edit of the video that exists? Or there is one edit, but it's 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 not complete. Yeah, just post it. Fuck them. Nah. Fuck them. You know what? Oh, man. Just polish like, it up for like five minutes and then just so you can yeah, move on with your life and do yeah, something else. Some we need to set you free yeah. from this video. It's like this heavy burden on you and it's not worth it. We know you're, you're capable of so much more than this fucking Suicide Squad bullshit. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Yeah, we can't let this hold you back anymore. I mean, Let's he's, get got, it over. he's got one more like chance to make it and that's after the game is like pulled offline like once <laughs> yeah, they that's, shut down the, the servers post-mortem. and it's you know like what? okay okay guys this is like the, fully this is, dead this is the revised plan i think it's gonna die this year i think uh-huh. that's the, they're, they're gonna release like three more characters and once mm-hmm. they show that officially because i've seen the leaks i've seen the leaks and i think what they're, what they're gonna do they're gonna dump everything and that's the end of this fucking game mm-hmm. and i i I got the perfect title for it. Uh, Rip in Peace 2024 to 2024. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah, well, so... I guess you'll finally make that video. That's pretty cool. Well, I'm just saying, Weekend, according to your channel, you have not posted in nine months. And okay, if, yeah. you have this epic collab with Simi and Jimmy coming out soon. So you're going to have, like, oh. hundreds of thousands of new people coming over to your <laughs> you channel. Gotta capitalize. You got to have something to show them. Like this yeah, is fair. this is your big break being on my monkey movie review video. Uh, y- you might not get a chance this big again in your life. <laughs> God damn, yep. you're right, monkey. <laughs> I need to say stuff like that to Florian to convince him to stay. <laughs> like it's, you'll never be bigger than Isakino. Binding of Isaac is nothing. It's in the shadow of the Isakino part of your Wikipedia entry. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I love being, like, <laughs> I, I love that being what I'm known for, yep, just is a key now, that's what I want to be in for. <laughs> I would rather be known for having some sick opinions than making some sick ball frogs. <laughs> I don't know, man, <laughs> ball frog has some real integrity, okay, that, that thing really happened. Ball frog really happened? Yeah, yeah imagine <laughs> that. Oh ball frog God. wasn't a mass hallucination. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, well, certainly not mass. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Uh, it's so big enough. There. It's big enough. <laughs> yep, huge. Uh, e Rich, what are you plugging this week? Yeah, you can find me on my X dot com profile, T Z A R R E V A N. Um, on there, I'm probably just talking about Star Wars. I like the new show, The Acolyte. People are shitting on that unnecessarily. Um, people need to understand the thing about Star Wars is that it's never made sense scientifically so when there's <laughs> fire in space or anything like that like just watch any of the movies and you'll be like oh yeah there is fire in space oh yeah there is sound in space it, it's it's never held up to any kind of scientific credulity so uh yeah didn't you just shit all, all over this fine ape film for the scientific inaccuracies he rich <laughs> oh, did My i God. Was it scientific inaccuracy or was it the non-charisma of Marky Mark that well, I... I mean, your, your scientific measurement of his charisma is also inaccurate, uh, I think. Like, I what see, tools are you uh, using for this measurement? Because they might be out of date. Uh, Marky Mark in this movie is, is peak 
man. Like, this is what a human man got, should be. I've got a charismometer here, and it's saying, my charisma's off the charts. <laughs> <laughs> He's, like, holding it upside down. Come on, Star Wars makes way more sense than this, all right? Don't, don't oh, come on. Ridiculous. You gotta give us the charismometer. You gotta give us <laughs> the charismometer. That's so fucking funny. That's pretty good. I'm just I'm just imagining him pointing the, the monitor, and it's upside down when Monkey said that. It's, yeah. it's off the charts. <laughs> oh, no. Wait, so did you plug something here, Rich? Are we done? Yeah, my ex. Okay. You can also find me on uh, Letterboxd at Revan1138. You, pl- you plugged your ex? <laughs> yeah, why are you constantly talking about your ex, man? Get over her. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, of all people to just not say Twitter, I'm surprised e Rich is saying ex. Like, that's kind of respectful to Elon Musk in a way. <laughs> yeah, mm-hmm. weirdly. Like, even people who like her. Elon still say Twitter. I well, say I guess- Twitter. I guess zitter. saying X is, is more of an insult almost, like, wow, X, what a stupid name. Let's, let's make sure everyone rem- remembers that name. <laughs> it's Will the everything app. it back, or is it just X for... Oh, for no everyone? way. Yeah. <laughs> what, if it, what if it gets sold again? Yeah, I mean, I guess I, I guess as soon as Elon Musk goes bankrupt, I guess they'll change it back. Sure, could happen any time now. Yeah, the richest man on the planet will go bankrupt. That's a stretch. Well, I mean, he... I mean, he's only rich in his Tesla stock, and that could go belly up any moment. There's nothing Maybe. that could happen that his net worth would be zero. I think like, a better like net worth fl- Florian, is- Florian, I think the better term would be if X becomes bankrupt, not if he becomes bankrupt. Because if you make a new account on X or Twitter, you have to pay to interact with people. It's so stupid. You do? Like, yeah, yeah you do. Terrible. So I'm never making a new account again if I get banned. <laughs> it's over. Yeah, yeah. You, ha- you have to pay like in in the Philippines. You have to pay 42 pesos or some shit, which is stupid. It's it's low, but it's annoying that you have to pay in the first place. Like why? <laughs> How am I supposed to say thank gnome? It's Friday. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Unbelievable. How are people are supposed to like it? How am I supposed to thank gnome? <laughs> <laughs> The greatest episode of Original Is It Kino, the Sherlock Gnomes. Uh, hey, folks, you might think, oh, we're only getting Florian once a month. Well, we, I think we cried over spilled milk a little bit too early, because in July, we're getting him on Inside Out 2 and Norbit, so stay tuned. It'll be like yeah, nothing ever changed. Same day. I'll be ideal. Gonna, if, if wow, we're going to double book. Double Are book we going to... Are you gonna make me watch Inside Out too? No, oh no, we got, we got plenty of people. You can if you want. Uh, purple on. Okay. Uh, and not, purple doesn't want to do that. He said he wanted. Oh, yeah, to do, he wants it. to do smiling friends. <laughs> so oh, he's he, like, oh, I'll, I'll make him uh, do it. <laughs> I'll, I, I will slap the shit out of him. Yeah. No, no, purple actually really wants to podcast with you for some reason. So I think he'll be up for it. Uh, <laughs> he's only gonna be he's, on Inside Out too if he uh, takes a three month sabbatical from anti reviews. So ah! let him know. Is purple is purple a like social climber? Is he just like using you to get the? He's bigger yeah, than he all of us. Like his channel, he gets like a hundred k views on every video. Oh, shit! So like it's almost no, a this joke. Is him. No, no, no. But this is the podcast hypergamy chain because he's like branching off to the superior <laughs> podcast. Yeah. Wow. Yep. Yeah, he's slumming it even on this show. Yeah. How many subs? That how many views? Oh, He's a God big man. dude, and I mean that well, literally. He not many subs yet, but he gets the views at least. Oh yeah, the views are much more valuable than fucking subs. Subs are useless. YouTube doesn't even fucking put videos in the sub feed. It's like, ah, hopefully it pops up on the home feed. <laughs> well, I mean, it like it definitely goes in the sub feed. People just don't use that. Like they, they think it's gonna be in recommended if if you sub no that's the sub feed is there, for that is there a dom feed too <laughs> sadly no <laughs> on grinder <laughs> <laughs> well you, you could sort of about that on grinder <laughs> you yeah. could sort by dom and sub yeah I guess you'd have to <laughs> yeah it's not as simple as man and woman we don't know which one plugs into what in this crazy world of grinder <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's mostly tops and bottoms though. Yeah, what about like two middles if they meet up, these like sword fights? Yeah. <laughs> Just meet in the middle, yeah. They, they poke their dicks together. Like uh, like a Chinese finger trap. <laughs> <laughs> They're stuck with their tips poked together. If they pull back, it gets tight. 
and, and their dicks are too big that they, they can't push together to get the the finger trap to squish so that they can get out so they're really stuck yeah they gotta come to, to lubricate it's the only Ooh. way yeah that's the movie we should make florian <laughs> two dudes trapped their dicks in a chinese finger trap and they have to come to get out it sounds like <laughs> an adam sandler movie well we're gonna to beat him to the punch <laughs> we're doing this yep. He said he won't be on his Aquino. He didn't say he wouldn't make short films with me or even feature length films. What would it be called? Come and go. What would, what would the name <laughs> yeah. of the? It'd be called uh, Florian's penis in a Chinese <laughs> finger trap. The film. <laughs> okay. That'll be the name. Um, Bye, everybody. Bye. See you.